That's right, Knowles traveling out to Spruce Creek. Seminole would clinch with a win, but Hawks still had a shot at the title as well when this thing kicked off. First quarter, Spruce Creek celebrates first. Check out the diving touchdown grab from Kevin Minkler, the touchdown sprinkler, I guess. 7-0 Hawks. But you know you're going to need more than that to beat Seminole. Fourth and goal, Jordan Smith gets the Knowles on the board. To my six rushing TDs for Smith this season. Later in the first half, Spruce Creek punting, and I say this every year, there's only a couple reasons why we show punts. O'Shea Baker, the sole taker, the ankle breaker, the defense faker. Yeah, he's the touchdown maker. 65-yard punt returns Seminole in front, 14-7. First drive of the second half now. Seminole goes 50 yards in just three plays. Deatre Robinson doubles the lead for the Knolls. Bruce Creek goes three and out on their first two drives of the third. Then it's Robinson rediscovering his love for the end zone. 28-7. Then midway through the fourth quarter, can't give Timmy McLean this kind of time. Touchdown, Timmy to Baker for a 41-yard TD. Spruce Creek snags a late touchdown in the final minute, but not enough to spoil Seminole's party. The boys from Sanford clinched the district title. They will host their first-round playoff game. Shane Whitehead tracked down head coach Don Stark after the game. District champs, how does that sound? That sounds good. You know, that's the number one goal every year. Uh, you know, that's the only way I know you can get into the playoffs for sure. And so, uh, you know, that we're going to enjoy it. I tell the guys we enjoy each win for 48 hours, and we come back Monday ready to work. And uh, one of the guys said, Coach, since we're district champs, we could enjoy it for 49 hours. <laughs> so. It took a year, but you get that taste out of your mouth, right? Yeah, you know, I don't think that taste will ever be out. But, you know, it, it, every year is a new year, and really enjoy coaching these young men that come out. Out. They, they give everything they have. They play hard, and uh, we just have to keep getting better. And you told them afterward you won one championship, but there's more out there. Yeah, there is. You know, there, there's a fine line between being good and great. You know, in order to be a great team, you have to win championships. Uh, that starts with the district championship. Right now, we're a good football team, but, uh, you know, when you get into the playoffs, everybody's good.